Hello, guys. I'm Sylvester Turkey. Oh, hey, Sylvester Turkey. What's up? To my left is Sylvester Turkey, and to my right, Sylvester Turkey. I am Sylvester Hello, Turkey. Hello, everyone. I'm Sylvester Turkey. Hello. Hey, oh, up, special Sylvester? guest. It's Sylvester Turkey. Sylvester Turkey, please introduce yourself. Nico, that's you, dude. What? Oh. You're, you're Sylvester Turkey, dude. Hey, Sylvester Turkey. <laughs> Say hello to the, the fans. To Nico, there's there's four of us in here, and we're all named Sylvester oh, Turkey. <laughs> I fucked up. I didn't know. I didn't know we all had names. Welcome. And it's the same. Welcome to the Welcome post to the Sylvester first. Turkey staff. Yeah. Spat cast. <laughs> Everyone got drafted. You know what? Let's do it right off the rip. Pete, welcome to yeah. Extremely Sideways. Yep, I got drafted. I got sent to, uh, I'm being sent to Vietnam. Uh-huh. Actually, no, my bad. Afghanistan. Oh, no. Yep, it's 2006. I'll see <laughs> you guys. Get, can I get sent to the Turks and Caicos? No. We really need a military base out there. <laughs> You're not yeah, allowed. You know, we we really need a base out there, guys. I think we need to. We need a base out in Cyprus. Something's telling me. <laughs> I feel it. I don't get the bit. Ah, uh... it's not the only thing you don't get. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What <laughs> to do about? It. Welcome to the <laughs> Sylvester Turkey class this cast dude he, he hasn't even shown up yet oh the, the, the turk cast if you will let me tell you something folks we are turkey and up in here we're getting what married turkey this month happy pride month editor, happy pride month editor ty's gonna have a field day dude he doesn't even know what the fuck to do with this anyway fuck the miz <laughs> i'm gonna be hosting extremely sideways and you're all coming with me it's true you got drafted dude you you can't get out of it like nico tried to do he said he's got a plan. Never, I would never get out of Extremely Sideways. I got a little sneak preview for y'all. First episode. Pete, I'm going to my name. Co-host Pete would never hold dodge on, a draft. Hold on, hold on. I would never dodge a draft. Kelly Kelly's on episode one. Oh, oh, hold on, I'm there. <laughs> You're there? Did we got, did we got right, a third? Everybody. All right, All Smack right, Up ten, is ten Extremely Sideways. <laughs> no, 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 guys. <laughs> That one's that one goes out to Kelly. Kelly, salute, guys. Salute. <laughs> Come Hello. on, we've played that gong like forty thousand times, dude. <laughs> it was also for Kurt Angle's farewell match. Yeah. Oh, we gotta do another thirty. Go throw another thirty for him. So, yeah. so, so anyway. So no, anyway, anyway, guys. So anyway, the Miz comes out. He's in the crowd. He's yelling. He's doing his white boy shtick. He's going white boy crazy. He's white boy wasted. And he's saying, here's the rundown for the show. He's doing it Excalibur style. You know what that means? What, what the fuck does does the Miz tell us, Ty? What does the Miz tell us? Yeah, what does he tell us? He's very happy to be here. He's very happy to be here on SmackDown. Raw's shit. And guess what? So he got drafted? I don't know. He's just been on SmackDown. He finally he finally usurped Palmer Cannon. Yeah, Powerful yeah, Queen Cannon. pretty much. I don't know. He just says there's a bunch of matches going on tonight, and we got a uh, Piper's Pit, and uh, got a Bobby Lashley versus King Booker tonight. You guys excited? And the crowd goes, "Get out of here, dude! Get out! We don't know who you are," which is fair, <laughs> fair at that point, you know. I knew he was a, he was a guy uh, in a jacket with too much hair gel. And, and the then crowd the was like, here. "What are you doing here, dude? Yeah. Wait, what? hold on. We're in Oregon. He fits right in." Hold, his, hold on a second, Deep guys. shot on Oregon, by the way. Are you not Teenage Goals? Did you not watch The Real World? No, I, I, thought, it was on, the real I thought it was on Big Brother. Uh, no, he was I, on The Real World. He got bullied. <laughs> yeah. Because I watched it because I, my, my older brothers also watched The Real World, and I was like, wow, I probably shouldn't be watching this show. And, yeah. and then what happened? And then The Miz became a wrestler, and I said, wow, I saw this guy in The Real World. He was kind of a dweeb on that show. I'm going to hate him for the next 10 years. Fair enough. So, and, and I did. Nice. So we're going to review all the real world episodes with the season with The Miz, right? Yep. Every episode yeah. that The Miz was on, we are going to be watching and reviewing. Oh, awesome. no. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a you don't have to do this commitment from yeah, us man. to the viewers like you. Thank you. All you have to do is send me $5. Just Venmo me. Yep. Ty, I did a tie right now. I was feeling like Victor Frankenstein. I uh, think 
somebody buy a pink smack up bucket hat and we'll do mm, it. True. For Pride Month. Yeah. For any month. Yeah. Stylish. You want our gear. <clears throat> it's true. New merch in the description down below. Look at all those Rey Mysterio shirts. Holy you can yes, get that on we, a, we I can get that on those. a cup. You got we Rey made Mysterio those cup. shirts. Rey we made the Rey Mysterio cryptid shirt, guys. You can get you can not only get the Rey Mysterio cryptid shirt, you can get the Rey Mysterio cryptid fucking flask or guys, whatever. Actually that might be a little uh we might get in trouble for that. No, I'll do it. I'll make no, it. No, I'm saying I think we might get in trouble. It's a copyright. We're gonna call him Raymond Mysterio. It's his brother. Uh-huh. Get get yours hot. Get yours right now at redbubble.com slash smack up. Thank Come you. on, look at him. Thank you Everybody for our sponsor Raymond. today, Bowflex. You know what I mean? Hang in there. Tomorrow's a brighter day. Yep. <laughs> Ride to Every Bowflex. Day is brighter. <laughs> <laughs> See oh, where it fuck. takes you, you know? <laughs> well, it takes you to the promised land Mao Zedong promised us all. I'm saying. What do you mean? Uh, I need you to put and, in And, the, and spe- in, in speaking of rent being due, we've got Rey Mysterio versus Kurt Angle in a non title match. Woo wee. <laughs> so I need you to put in a, a Chinese hymn at this point in the show. No! Yeah. Oh, the... that was a beautiful song. I enjoyed that so wow. much. We already had Thank President Xi like 30 times in the. <laughs> <laughs> wow. With that video. wow yeah that was so good <laughs> we're getting a lot of social credit right now ty come on dude are you ready are you preparing ah! for the future Hell i'm yeah. preparing for the future we are the exclusive communist podcast in wrestling so we just picked up a new contract the chinese socialist army wants us wow. to help with all their soldiers with cryptid Ray- raymond everybody loves raymond has yeah and and fucking afghanistan <laughs> teas <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the shortest episode of Smack Up ever once I cut down everything. This bullshit. You guys would be like, wow, that's crazy. What do we say? Uh, oh, I know Editor Ty is gonna have a field day with this one on a 4 a.m. on a Wednesday. Editor Ty is gonna be sitting there clipping this and sending it in the Discord and saying, wow, look at this, guys. I'm not gonna post this. This is too funny. <laughs> <laughs> we had too much fun. Nobody else can have fun with us. No way, dude. The only fun allowed <laughs> is through <laughs> alcohol and pill taking. Speaking Fans, of alcohol take and pill taking, Joe, I want you to go through this match. Yeah. You were kind of right. You're kind of right about that, Ty. Let me tell you. There Thank is you. some alcohol and pill taking invent- invested in the, in the startup of this match. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Kurt Angle comes out looking fucking ripped and jacked to the gills. He definitely just drank so, some horse urine in the back and shot some steroids into his balls. Yep. Well, this is well. Paul Heyman is also uh, out out in commentary with Taz and, and Michael Cole. And he's gassing him the fuck up as he yeah. should. He said, "Look, do you want to be extreme?" Do you want to achieve peak male performance? Here's this uh, ECW horse semen mixture. <laughs> drink it. And he's right. Kurt, Kurt Angle's like, oh, that thing, I drank it this morning. And he's Kurt, and, and Paul's like, I, I knew I drafted you for the right reason. Yep. That was the first conversation I'd have with Kurt Angle. <laughs> yeah. This, this match is candidly and often referred to as Kurt Angle's farewell match. Mm-hmm. Uh, the little graphic even looks like it has like kind of like New Year style like balloons on it. Across the Chiron for the for the match card, um, I thought I thought it was like championship. I looked away for a second. I'm like, oh, championship match. That's crazy. No, unfortunately, no non-title match. Kurt Angle keeps getting gypped out of these too. I'd say, give him another match. Fuck it. He got he got a uh, he got destroyed by Mark Henry in the last title match he had. So just give him one more. Yeah. But they don't relent. Rey Mysterio, he comes out with his new music. Um, He's still wearing the really... dumbass visor. He had the visor out tonight, huh? Yeah. He always yeah, has a fucking plug-in. visor, dude. And they're plugging uh, his, his new theme. Yeah, who From that the CD jumped out the sun? Intent, dude. Yeah, they're, they're saying they have the name of it on the fucking thing, too. Booyaka, booyaka. Yeah, they have like a little bottom third with the name of the song. 
Yeah, they, but the match was fine. It, it, they they kind of like go at each other, you know. They kind of bi- try to big dog each other, even though Kurt is like half a foot taller, standing at a solid five five. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just looking real weird. Don't like no, it. No, it's fine. Nah, yeah. it's weirdo. A, a lot of a lot of it was was kind of rust holdy at the beginning. Um, but they have a fun moment where Ray uh, drop toe holds Kurt nearly into a six one nine, and then Kurt like picks up his like legs, but then they they kind of like grapple out of the ring, um, and then they both enter the ring from the other sides, and then they like getting up each other's face, which was uh, a fun moment. It cuts to commercial. We come back, and Ray is uh, looks like he's getting ass fucked by Kurt because Kurt's got him down on the ground grappling him, yeah, in Gator style. Kurt's, oh, Kurt's again hitting another... him with some real nice techniques, dude. He's hitting him with like a, he's throwing like some classic armbar uh, formations on him. He's got a fucking like Americana and a Kimura, all that shit. He's looking, he's looking real graps right now. Yeah, he jujitsu the fuck out of Ray. Exactly. Again, our our champion of the show. And this Dang is absolutely. our chosen champion, my chosen yeah. champion. This is my guy. Wherever he goes, I follow. Yep, Paul uh, Heyman is also on commentary as well, and he's he's reminding us, uh, I guess informing us rather, because we don't get a graphic, we don't get a raw rebound at all this episode, that Kurt is like on the way out. He has been officially drafted, officially quote-unquote drafted to ECW along with Raw Monday Night Raw's Rob Van Dam. Yep. Uh... They will all have matches at ECW's One Night Stand on June 12th, 11th, 2006. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Paul then informs us during the this match, while Kurt and Ray are just doing their rust holds, that Rey Mysterio will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against Sabu! What? Which Why? Is crazy. Why? Ow. Ow. <laughs> you know? I don't know. And they also, they use this, this stupid-ass graphic they kept using for Judgment Day, too. Rey oh, Mysterio yeah, looking up at, not JBL, but Sabu with that clip art-ass fucking They couldn't card. even find, like, a picture of Sabu right. recently. They had to find, like, an ECW right. 90s picture and cut uh, him out. Yeah, I know I might be backtracking a bit on this, but I have to mention this. Edit a tie. Okay. You go back... And find every spot since he's been champion where Rey Mysterio gets pinned clean but makes a rope break. Does that happen a lot? Yes. You know he's not going to do that. Editor Ty, we know your games. Yeah. How about Editor you know you Joe? Can you help out Yo. Editor Ty on this episode? I know you're listening to. I think uh, Editor <laughs> Joe's will be watching some erotic films that night. I think he'll be busy. <laughs> erotic Joe's. <laughs> erotic Joe. Erotic Joe. Erotic Whoa. Joe. Whoa. 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 <laughs> can, can we get a 10 gong salute for Erotic no. Joe? <laughs> Salute. <laughs> We're not. Oh. Oh, man. Erotic Joe, get out of here. Editor Joe. Get out of here. I don't want to see you till at least Wednesday night. You sickos. <laughs> you nasty freaks. You nasty girls. Oh, man. Nasty is true. <laughs> Taking erotic Joe to Margaritaville. Paul Heyman dares to threaten us and say that if either Sabu beats Rey Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Championship or Mr. Money in the Bank Rob Van Dam who is cashing in his money in the bank on John Cena for the WWE Championship, if either or both of them win their respective matches and titles, that either or both of those titles will then be reformed into the ECW Championship. First of all, Paul, get out of our company, you fraud. Second of all, that's not happening. At least Ray's not losing to... uh, the guy made out of duct tape, Sabu. Sabu, if you're listening, I know you are. Respect you, but come on, dog. We'll see you on uh, Extremely Ray, Sideways. Ray Mysterio, Ray Mysterio, don't lose his title, brother. He might lose no. the match, but he don't lose his title. No, I want Detroit native Sabu to win no matter what. I'm, a, I'm, ex- I'm an extreme guy now completely. Now that the word's out, let him know. Why do you want the Detroit guy to win? We're from this city. 
It's because I'm from Detroit. You're from Detroit? Yeah, I'm from Detroit. You, you, you singularly? I singularly no, am from Detroit. You know what? I'm not ashamed. What are you going to say? I am also from Detroit. You're not from Detroit. Oh, yeah. He's from Detroit. Oh, yeah, yeah that's Detroit, Detroit Nico. Now. I'm sorry. Yeah, Detroit Nico is great, Nico. Besides, so me and Erotic Joe are going down to Atlanta soon. We'll get our review up soon for the <laughs> Patreon listeners. <laughs> I've heard that. Erotic Joe told me the strip club chicken wings are great. Oh, me and... excellent. <laughs> me and Nico are going to do a show. <laughs> me and Nico are going to do a show where we walk the streets of Detroit and talk to people. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yep. Do not ask people to say West Side in Atlanta <laughs> at 3 a.m. West Side. West well, Side. Definitely don't do it downtown. Don't worry, we'll go to do, not, do not call the citizens of Atlanta Filipinos at 3 a.m. Hello, Filipinos. <laughs> Where are my Filipinos? <laughs> Did we finish this match? <laughs> Get in there, Joe. Get in the lab. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there. Finish the match. Don't you dare ask me to do that again. Don't you dare fact check me, because I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after like Kurt Angle really puts puts the schmeat on Ray for about eighteen minutes of this nineteen minute match, mm-hmm. uh, Ray Mysterio retaliates uh, with a West Coast pop. Kurt kicks out. Uh, tries to uh, go up to the top rope, but Kurt Angle tries to give him an avalanche belly to belly. Um, doesn't play out, don't work out too well for Ray, because, uh, Kurt just eventually works him down, and you give him a suplex, uh, they work up, uh, back off the ropes, and Kurt throws Ray, uh, over the top rope, Ray starts to favor his left knee that he's had surgery on five times, they and, uh, Kurt, <laughs> Kurt, Kurt is already posturing in the ring, uh, and it was a nasty fall too, like, because Ray was was reeling for a, a, a six one nine, but Kurt got up, gave him a belly to belly over the top rope. Ray to falls side, right? actually on his knee for real. Yeah, I think he forgot to wear his knee pad tonight too, because it didn't really look like he was wearing it through the pants. Oh, uh, and Ray's watching, yeah, yeah, <sighs> dude, erotic <laughs> Joe, this guy. You tell him it's Pride Month, and he goes crazy. But Ray's really struggling to get into the ring and uh, he gets up on the apron um at Lil Nate uh who's our referee for this match at his count of 10 and that's it i guess being on the apron doesn't count anymore sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't tonight it doesn't sorry ray idiot even well, though you're the champion comment. of our show we love you. ray ray in the kind of joker gear does not get the w tonight nope nope it is in fact Kurt Angle, who is the victor. Kurt Angle with the mouth guard that says machine across it. Yeah! Psychotic. <laughs> he t- yanks the title from Tony Chimmel, who hands it to him. And then he rips Rey Mysterio off the floor and hands it to him. Gives him a handshake and a hug. And uh, Ray lifts up Kurt's hand in celebration. Kurt continues to celebrate on his own, but Ray also puts his hands up. Because we know being the champion as Rey Mysterio is just a participation trophy. And uh, then we get the segment of reminding, or I guess informing, this baby AI crowd of WWE fans who Sabu is. Yeah, I hated that finish. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate it. Because at, at least, like, yeah, he lost, but he didn't lose. Counts are stupid. Yeah. It, at least it was like he was kind of in the ring, so you could say it, it was a bad goal. Yeah, it, 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 made it, was... it, it made it controversial, and I mean, the reality is they want people to watch ECW, so mm-hmm. yeah, you, you can't just have uh, Kurt Angle lose and go out and be like, now watch what he does, the crazy shit he does on ECW because he just lost. They could have had him fight anybody else, but also... That's what I was just going to follow that up with, hey. yeah, he could have fought literally anybody. I mean, you could have had him fight the Great Khali and it would have been more interesting. Yeah. Now, it, 
he could not anybody, but it had to be like one of the top. Pe- it had like because like Job Finley, honestly, somebody they can afford to lose. But like, which, who the fuck is like a top guy in SmackDown right now? Right honestly? now, like Mark Henry and Greg Khali are being pushed at the top. But, yeah, like, but yeah, they can't lose. Kurt Angle just beat Mark yeah. Henry anyway. You know? JBL lose. JBL's gone. Bobby they Lashley just, is the U.S. champion. Yeah, yeah, they just kicked out uh, Chris Benoit. He's on sabbatical. Yeah, they just said that. Definite yeah. sabbatical to give his kids steroids. <laughs> yeah, oh god. He yeah, just bought so... a Bowflex from the sponsor. <laughs> He's ready to ride the lightning. He's baby. financing his Bowflex. He's ready to ride the lightning. <laughs> oh, like, really? All like, straight to the top. Oh, only, like, the only moderate person who's, like, strong enough that you could put in a match or, like, cut angle would be Finley, but that's stupid. So, Ray was the only it. option. How could you say that? I mean, that? but, like, if even if he fights Finley, he, he, Finley has the, the wild factor of having that little person under the ring now. Yeah. So but... you don't want that oh, going with that ECW. Kill. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah, They'll yeah. get there, but not right now you don't want it. Yeah, so, yeah, so there's no one. Ray had to do the job. Ah, don't Eddie. Like uh, Eddie, <laughs> can't Eddie. get another win. Eddie, Eddie always wins. Uh, Just like Greg says. So Big David gave it a, a four and a that quarter bomb. star. Four and a quarter. A four and a quarter. It was, a it was a good match, but that ending, come on. Yeah, the ending sucked, but whatever. It's TV. You know, they just need got, you to watch it. Yeah. We gotta remember, you know, we live is... in beautiful times. This is like the best you're probably getting in 06. I guess it was a right. good match. Good this is a really good TV match. the last, uh, I guess, 20 real-life seconds of it. Mm-hmm. What can you do? Yeah. We take what we can get around here, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, it could be fucking that Kane match. Oh, dear. Look, there's no raw rebound on this show. I don't want to hear about it. Good. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you have to talk about it. Fuck. No, I'm Just kidding. Though. This isn't the raw show. Excellent. This is, in fact, the SmackDown show, and the best we get on the SmackDown rebound is a reminder. Uh, we get a highlight play of how last week Bobby Lashley just gored the hell out of JBL to kick off the show and become the, our new U.S. championship. He says, my name is Bobby Lashley. I oh, am proud. He's got on too. Yeah, he's kind of swagged out a little bit, yeah, that a little Cuban link. <laughs> yeah, he said, I'm proud to be the United States champion. I can't wait to get my hands on Booker T tonight in the main event. All right, not bad. I'm with it. Bobby looks good. Bobby looks fresh. I like it. I love Bobby. I also cut love to, Bobby. Cut to Nunzio. Did we talk, did we talk about uh, the interstitial about Batista returning in five weeks? No. Yeah. We didn't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, that'll happen. No, yeah. no, yeah. Batista will return. Bit, good times are coming to SmackDown, I hope. We're losing Kurt, but we're gonna in, we're finally in, gonna have another top guy. In thirty five days, exactly, is what it says, which would be five weeks. Yeah Batista is coming. Anyway, continue. Bobby Lashley is here. Then we cut talk about Nunzio and Vito. Tell me about it. Dog, I don't got nothing to say about <laughs> Nunzio and Vito. You tell me about Nunzio and Vito. He's just doing some conditioning in the hallway. Getting all sweaty, getting all greasy for his match against Baby Legs Matt Hardy. And then uh, producer guy says, Nunzio, you're up next. And he's like, all right, have you seen Have you seen my boy, Big Vito? And you like, see no. Vito running in the background wearing a <laughs> dress and heels. He's like, all right, I got, I, got a, I got a big match, dude. You got to tell me if you see him. And dumbass producer guy's like, okay. Yeah, okay, dude. Like, sure, whatever, sure, dude. Yeah, dude. I'll, I'll tell you if I see Vito, dude. Or, okay. And they go to commercial okay. and come back and uh guys can we tune up the band real quick? Hold on. How do you mean? Yeah, let's give me give me that in three, two, oh, yeah. one. Oh, oh yeah! yeah Oh yeah. yeah. Oh no dude. <laughs> God, oh, oh shit, dude. Matt Hardy's here, guys. I can fuck a, a tornado. tornado. I can come in the sea. Yeah. And then Vito comes out. He's like, dude, where's 
Not Vito. Nunzio. The other one. The other Italian yeah. guy. Two Italians. He's like, where's my friend, dude? And he keeps trying to do the thing where he's going to hit the, the the crowd guy, which I think is funny. Because he, uh, Nunzio has real graps, but he's just a joke character right now. But uh, he's just looking for his homie. Dude. This is a big match for him for some reason. It's not a cruiserweight match, so I guess it's more important. But uh, they they get at it. Take us through this one, Nico. I know you watched this one heavily. Oh, this yeah. Was, this was your national pride here. Oh, yeah. Mm. So this is pretty much... I don't know. I mean, this is Matt Hardy showing off why he's Matt Hardy. Nunzio's kind of getting his shit kicked in until he eventually takes the fall and he eats the pin. Yep. Now, what makes this match special is Vito does come out. And let me tell you, respectfully, respectfully, Vito comes out looking fabulous. Vito had that fucking respectful ass walk going. It was crazy. That power yeah. walk. I was, was like, holy oh, serving dude. cunt, dude. He was popping he was. his hips. The flip flops oh, and whoa, whoa, undress whoa, whoa, combo whoa. was insane. Hold, hold, hold on, Ty. You can't be assuming things. What do you mean? I mean, did you just say the C word on you? He's serving cunt. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing cunt. now. Yeah, then, it's this a good, is good. thing now. Yeah, this you can good, say it, but in a positive manner. No, no, I get it's that. It's been reclaimed. No, oh, yeah, but it it depends on if that's what they want, you know? You can't just be throwing... Or are you saying, does Vito thing. want to be... I mean, Vito definitely yeah. wants to be serving cunt. Yeah, he sees nothing wrong with what's happening. He comes out to the ring, he's looking strong Vito forgot and confident. he was wearing the dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even pay, like, any mind to it. He's like, I, oh, shit, I'm kind of late for my friend's match. All right, let me get out there. Let me reassure my friend. And then you hear, the, I've been a nasty girl. Diaper pips. I've been. And, and, oh, okay, that's that. That's dirty. We yeah, are a clean Christian corporate podcast. No, made by the Chinese. No, government. no, no. Here, <laughs> I know that's right, brother. That's right, Social Tony. Currency go up. <laughs> up, up, up. Stonks. But let, uh, let me tell you about Nunzio. Okay. And I should know because again, uh. National Alliance, right? This is exactly what I'd expect most Italian men to act like in the face of something like this. In the face of what? In the face of not being able to see that this is your friend Vito, and all they see is the dress. Mm. Now, that doesn't mean he... Nunzio doesn't support Vito, that just means that this is the first reaction. He's been taken off guard. Yeah, he's off guard. He so may come he... to love and accept Vito for who he is, but right now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it, it, especially if they're shorter. If they're a shorter Italian, then they get super freaky and weird about stuff. It's like, just short, muscular Italians, there's just something wrong with them, man. I don't know. They just go off on weird things and weird tangents. They're, they're out of control. So okay. Nunzio's flipping out. So, oh, my God. Oh, get away. What? What is this? What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, duh. Like, fucking, he's being chased by, yeah. like... The f- Jacob Goodnight or whatever. Yeah, I like, can see it. He's just trying to be like, bro, I'm just trying to help. It's me. You. It's Vito. Yeah, he's he's Vito. trying to be supportive of his friend. It's me, yeah. your friend, Vito. Nunzio, Nunzio doesn't know how to how to see his friend after this information. Mm-hmm. But yeah. hopefully, like you say, he'll he'll have a he'll have a a come coming to heart moment. That's what I hope for. But this is 2006. For it's very I know, remains to be seen. Yeah, for all I know, Vito's supposed to be the heel in this. Who knows? We'll Vito, find out. Did we Vito say who won is... the match? Yeah, uh, Matt Hardy Matt wins Hardy with a twist of fate. Yeah. Match. I like how yeah. he said, yeah, <laughs> wait, no, we didn't. <laughs> I said, Nuncio ate the pit. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. It, the, Matt Hardy winning this match matters as much as Nunzio losing this match, which means it doesn't matter because all that really matters is we saw Vito in a dress. This is true. It's true. Oh, and then we have um, the worst segment of the year, I think, in my opinion. Uh, do you yeah. guys Do you guys think so? I don't know if it's the worst segment of the year. It's up there. I'm, I feel like there could be something worse. I feel this it's is the, No, you know what? I'm going to throw it out. Road Warrior Animal, worst segment of the year this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. When he come yeah. at, came out and talk, talked shit about uh, Hawk and how he was holding him back. Like, homie, he's dead. 
Like, yeah, that was pretty leave bad. Leave him alone. The, that was by far worse than this. That was the, definitely the worst segment of this year. But but this is also really uncomfortable to see too because yeah, right. we know Roddy's on the way out. This one's uncomfortable in a racist way. Yeah, this is probably the most offensive that I've seen. At least. So Roddy Piper's here and gets a pretty the big Miz pop. The Miz yeah. Roddy Piper. Or Piper's pit. Or Piper's yeah. pit. The Miz is here. The Miz is here. He's so happy. He's he loves the WWE. Hoorah! Uh, and he brings out his guest, which is of course the one, the only Great Kali. Great mm-hmm. Kali is out here. He uh, is massive, huge, and Roddy Piper gets up in his grill, and he starts yep. uh, saying, uh, "Does he speak English?" Yep. And then Davari goes, no, 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 he doesn't. I speak English for him. He goes, oh, okay. And so Roddy Piper keeps walking around him and he goes, look at that ass. Is that Brokeback Mountain? And the crowd goes, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. That prompts Kali to kind of do like a huge like bicep flex. Yeah. <laughs> so like, All right, okay. Kind of funny. <laughs> As in, doesn't Piper also dismiss Davari from the ring at this point too, or is that later? He kind of ignores him. He's mostly talking to Kali. Yeah. Anyway. Because, like, Davari tells him specifically that I am his interpreter. And then Roddy Piper just says, yeah, whatever. What do you say about his family? He said something about, like, he's, like, the only kid to survive. Did, did he eat all of his brothers and sisters? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if he yeah. said it like that. I think he, just, like, legit said, did the other brothers and sisters survive? No, they said, like, they all died because, like... India has like bad health care or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, essentially, like, essentially, yeah. it was not. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that. I'm like, what the fuck? And then he goes, uh, "So where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, he's from the jungles of Punjab." <laughs> and then he does the fucking elephant noise, elephant noise, and does the little like hand motion. I'm like, what the fuck is happening right now? And then, and then Roddy starts to get a little serious. He goes, Undertaker's actually the best wrestler of all time. He's the toughest man. I told him that myself. And then you see a guy in the car going, Yes! 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 Oh, Devari yeah. reminds us that your friend was the strongest until Judgment Day. And the great Kali destroyed him. And he's the Kali is the new phenom of the WWE. Yeah. And then Roddy Piper inexplicably motorboats the great Kali. Yeah, and he's like, hold on, let me get up. I want to see him face to face. So then he climbs up the top rope and then great Kali just chokes, him. <laughs> just grips him up. Start choking. Well, just chokes. And him. He's like, hey, and the bar is like, okay, no problem. No problem. Get off him. Get off him. He's a legend. And he goes, well, I can't really hit the great Kali. I don't know why he says that. He goes, but I can hit you. And then hits Davari for stopping him from getting killed. So what happens is great Kali just kills Roddy. Just headbutts him. <laughs> it is a nonsense segment, and it is racist, but it does not top uh, Road Warrior uh, Animal yelling oh. about how Hawk was holding him back for I years. We, and how he's... I think we need a top five at the end of the year with all of us trying to discuss what's the worst moment, because this is up there with uh, Vince and Candice. Lots, lots of Eugene goes up there, too. I Eugene, think. too. Lots of Eugene. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Eugene was Sheldon's mama. Definitely up there in the worst of the year. Bad, really bad, <laughs> really bad. Uh, we go to, then to commercial and come back, and one of the first things we see is somebody in the sign. Somebody in the sign has a crowd that says Vito is a Gavon. Nico, can you interpret? He's a Gavon. Vito is a Gavon. Yeah. Nah, my dad didn't teach me Italian. All right. Plus, I know Sicil- it'd be Sicilian. Could you, anyway, could so you, uh, could you just pretend and then the Google search it and then tell us? Uh, I am positive Gavon <clears throat> is... It's probably something like uh, Butana or a couple other phrases I know. You probably don't want the translation. Like like a Bukiak or something like that, huh? Mm, <laughs> or, a, or, 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 or some, something else. Uh... Like I, I can't say some of them because... It, I, I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> like, Italian's pretty rough with the language, dude. Even the translations, it's kind of like, oh, fuck. I wanted to actually... Oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, so, so... I mean, you know, like, translations don't, aren't one-to-one. So. But, like I said, I know Sicilian more. No, but, like, I also, like, at least with the Sicilian ones I know, I 
I know that it's um well I know like the what do you call it the pragmatic knowledge of it like it sounds harmless but you know I I know the context of the woods and stuff so it's like it's it's, it's bad it's it's not a nice word definitely no no no, no. so so yeah Joe you I, might have said some bad stuff dude well, you know, me, you know, you, know, you guys yeah, will never you know be able to fact check me ever. I actually know what the yeah, word you, means. You're like, you know me, yeah. Yeah. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, okay, okay, so first of all, at 100 patrons, uh, we'll have a sit down with Nico, and he'll explain the ethnic Cold War between the Italians and the Sicilians. At 100 patrons, we will list every slur ranked from worst to best in Italian. <laughs> yep. It's Sicilian, too. <laughs> yeah. But a, a gavone is is just a a, a slang Stop word, it. yeah. For somebody who eats too much or might be seen as greedy or selfish. So like oh, a pig. Okay. Yeah. yeah just... Though it's oh, more cuffone, not gavone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not. Well, he's not. He's not calling him a fanuk or nothing like that. No, 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 no. It's it's not like some of the other ones. You know. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness, dude. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, I have to be careful because, like, I know. Fair so, anyways, man, Ashley Massaro is yeah. here and on commentary to talk about the diva search. Oh Ty, yeah. Tell us about the diva search. The Actually, diva no, search. Nico, you tell us about yeah, the diva search. Yeah, let me. Let me tell you about the diva search. The diva search is a wonderful gift to us heathens, as they might call us. Gooners, Just kidding. Perhaps. Yeah, just kidding. We goon respectfully for the Chinese government. That's right. <laughs> Social but credit up. I'm going to be honest with you. So th they say Ashley Masano's here. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's stop okay. calling her that. It's Masaro. <laughs> Ashley Masano is here. Every, every beginning episode, Joe knows. I yelled, Nico keeps saying Masano. I don't know why. <laughs> Ashley Paisano is here. <laughs> Masaro, I, I like the flow of Masano better. I think she should have been Masano. That's all. Should have changed her name. I just don't yeah, know if you don't know it on purpose or not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's well, stand my correction. Ashley Masaro comes out. See, I don't like. It's so flow. unnatural. Go back it to is. the other one. All right, all right, fair enough. Go and on. you know, so she, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. They just got rid of Melina. Who the fuck else is on SmackDown? Because I've only been watching recently. So I haven't seen any other women outside Jillian Hall and Melina. So I'm like, Jillian There's Hall no comes out. I'm like, okay, is There's Ashley Masaro going to fight her? And, you know, just as that happens, Crystal comes out. Yes, oh, sir. Oh, yeah. On the Diva show. She wrestles sometimes. Let me tell you, Crystal's already, already top SmackDown wo woman so far. She's already number one. Number one. Yeah, she's the best. She's already the best. I don't know why. She's just the best already. Absolutely. Look, I know we're, we're respectful or whatever, Crystal. Crystal, crazy, crazy entrance into the ring. Yeah. yeah. Better than Melina, oh, yeah. I'd say. She, oh, yeah. She plays Limbo with the second rope. It was insane. She All is. right. Again, off. The problem you know? with Melina is, is she do display and we go crazy, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, the problem, the real issue is it's too raunchy. There's nothing to be left to the imagination. She do the split, and we go crazy, and that's the end of it. Crystal was very classy with it, yeah. Yeah. She comes in, and she does her little bend, and we're like, wow. What can she do with that, huh? <laughs> and you can, you, can, yeah. you can take it different places. You know, you not, can go not, not, to be so, not to be so grove, but... That second rope does not hit any of her curves. Yep. That nope. was crazy. It was Dude. insane. You you just had to see it. You had to be you there. You had to be there. Dude. And like even in the ring, she's actually pretty good. Like Yeah, look. this wasn't bad. Like like no. obviously like Jillian seems more experienced uh, mm -hmm. you know, working than Crystal and Crystal yeah. but Crystal has a good like base uh, you know, to work with. It's just the problem is that all the women in the WWE are a victim of Time and circumstance, and young Mula training. Yeah, that that that's a big killer. So like, it yeah, a lot of it is more of just this is a goddamn shame. But I actually kind of like this match. 
I thought it was, for what it was, it was pretty good. I thought Crystal looked good. Um, yeah, no, that this was. No, look, they do, they do, they do all the moves. Look, they they lock up at the beginning of the match. Mm -hmm. Crystal goes for a quick pin, and Jillian kicks out. Uh, and you think for a sec, they get up real quick, they might do the, the indie, like, leg sweep, go for a pin, kick out, leg sweep, go for a pin, kick out, but, you know, they don't even degrade themselves to that nonsense. Mm -hmm. This is just, this is just green graps. They lock up again, and, uh, Crystal gets Jillian in, like, a, like, an arm bar, and then a headlock, and Jillian tries to get out of that, but Crystal reverses into a head scissors. Mm -hmm. Jillian kicks up out of that, Crystal again... Goes for the headlock and uh, Jillian, Jillian delivers do? a uh, back body drop no. to Crystal, and then does a somersault into an elbow drop, <laughs> which was crazy. That was really good. What, what are what are they doing here? They had it. They had beautiful women who could go in the ring, and they said, "Uh, no, we're gonna do dog pussy." <laughs> what are we doing here? Vince McMahon's I... disgusting influence. Uh, will will never uh, be sworn off. We will yeah. destroy him. I don't know if the I said that right. But we hate here. him. You can never be rid of him. I, yeah. I will. I will say, uh, the Raw Down Women's match was the debut of Beth Phoenix, and she also looked good. Yeah, she oh, just debuted. Yeah. Fuck yeah, 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 and like yeah. So I, I'm just glad to see more good women wrestlers and not. Candice Michelle. Wow, dude. She gets better. Come on. She does. And she see, does. the problem is that, like, nowadays, like, you listen to a Candice Michelle interview. I know. Oh, who's in the Candice? But, like, you listen to it or, like, you hear a snippet of it from, like, social media or Twitter or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she's, like, talking about how passionate she is. Yeah, she and loves she's like, oh, okay. She knows ball a little bit, you know? Yeah, she's talking about like... this match or that match or whatever. And, like, yeah, I believe nobody in that backstage. Pritchard or Hayes or Vince himself or anybody else uh, took her ha a a any bit as serious if she wanted to do this or that in the ring. I mean, last week we know we know Jillian's a real baller. She <laughs> flung herself into the steps because she's probably wanted to do a steps spot for her entire career. So I respect it. Yeah. No, it's I no exactly right. Like it's like I don't know, man. It's Fucked like, up. It's fucked, fucked up. up. No, it is. It really is. And it's not fair to them. Like, yeah, I remember I watched uh, Candice Michelle's TED Talk, like, some months back. She was literally wearing her ring gear to this TED Talk, which... They were real cringy. raps. But, like, she's just so passionate about this stuff. She loves wrestling. You know? And it's like... But you watch this, and it's like... it. it it's easy to assume it's like oh she's just doing this for the playboy thing because that's how they advertise her you know which i guess that works it makes her like the heel vince wanted but you know it's just a shame that like she could probably actually be really good and just because of what they wanted with her she got held back and that's pretty much all the women of this era unless you were a megastar you got held back lest we forget lita can also wrestle and hasn't Mm -hmm. For years at this point. Has it been years? No. As long as she's been attached to Edge. Edge you... Oh, Edge, my bad. I'm sorry. I don't know why as my long, brain as long said as Melina. She's been with Edge, yeah. My brain no. said Melina, and I went, wait a minute. <laughs> I, the Discord she probably also... cut out, and you heard, yeah. No, she maybe. can also wrestle, too. So I'm saying, like, you know, and to get back to the match, you know, like Jillian, Irish whip it, Irish whip is uh crystal into the ropes and crystal you can see how green she is because she kind of stutters and it gets into place but then reverses the irish whip into like a, a hair pull like takedown slams her to the floor and uh you know jillian irish whips gets irish whipped rather into the corner and then jillian reverses another into a stomp and uh just throws <laughs> crystal into her chest and starts forcibly motorboating <laughs> Yep. Funny bit. Look, we got all the stops here. We got a little bit of comedy too, you know. And then Crystal uh, gets thrown into the corner. Jillian promptly follows, maybe hoping for a clothesline. 
but Jillian hops up on the first rope and gets up on Jillian's shoulders. Maybe she's going for like a poison Rana or something. Yeah. Then Jillian slams her down on her shoulders uh, with a drop and yeah. gets the pin well, one, two, she, three. She went for a sunset flip and then she sat on it, which was kind of crazy. Just like I didn't expect that type of move. If they look, if they were going to do a best two out of three, I we would have, believe we have I, I would it. want to see that. Yeah, <laughs> that would be the next Give us that. thing. I, I guess this is technically this two out of three, but different circumstances than before, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. now we have you're not enough for me. Oh no! Mm-hmm. And then Nico mm-hmm. popped, and Nico went, "Oh my god, my girl's here." Nico, yeah, tell let me, me about your talk about this one. Yeah. I wish Alcoa McCool comes out and. <laughs> wow. <Be honest. laughs> what? I'm sorry. It's just the Fuck way you did you. it was funny. I loved it. All right. All right. All right. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Michelle McCool gavinately stomps her way into the ring with a busty intentions of displaying her <laughs> modular uh, statements. And her assets. Her, her assets, of course. Oh, my. She's here to be like. I am Michelle McCool. I am the greatest thing on earth. I am back. I was a teacher once, just like Mr. Stryker. So why why are they on separate shows? We need the teaching alliance. Like the True. Fuck. Speak to him. But alright, whatever. And he's like, you know, I'm gonna be the one who's gonna be running this show because I'm back and better than ever. And Eric? let me tell you, she had good she had good facials. Like, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. my. Wow. Undertaker heard that, buddy. Yeah, hold on. Can we get a... Yeah. <laughs> as soon as Michelle McCool starts running down the ring, you start hearing that in the backstage. And you're like, whoa. As soon as, as, soon as Nico said the facials, that's what, you heard, that's what she should hear. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and, like, let me tell you. <laughs> Nothing like... to add, huh? <laughs> I, I was trying to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. All right, but like now, like I said, great facials, body positioning. I mean, she clearly knows the camera's there, and she knows how to work with it. I mean, she looks like a star, which is good because as of right now, I think SmackDown has four women's wrestlers max. Yeah, with the up. addition of now uh, Ashley and... Michelle McCool. Michelle McCool. Wait, that is two and three, no. or three and four rather. Well, we had, yeah. So yeah, it's four, right? Yeah. So yeah. So you know, again, strong, strong display. Made her things clear. Uh, it was a good women's segment all around. Now the question is, what are they going to do with it? You know nothing. What the fuck are you just saying to me? Uh. <laughs> uh. Maybe Nothing. you know Nico will kill you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I need you to go back into the Michelle McCool caverns. Okay. And apologize to a statue. I'm sorry, Michelle. I'm You're sorry. not enough for me. Okay. Nah, the... Yeah, she confidently tells uh, mm-hmm. Jillian, Crystal, and the rest of the wwe universe that things are about to get a lot hotter and then jillian and crystal laugh at her <laughs> that's true <laughs> as do I. I i joined my beautiful queens in laughing i'm sure the cool as you should have yeah the f- bonk every time the gong hits it's undertaker nodding <laughs> No, that changes so much in the beginning of the episode. No. (laughs) No, dude. Recontextualizing. We're retconning the beginning now. Yeah. Oh, no. We're just revealing the true secret. I can't Surrounded by family. Oh, no. Let's all bust a nut so long we're fun to take her. Hit that You know what? Let's go. That Mark Henry comes out. Looks like he busted those 50 nuts, too. 
So wet. Mark Henry's so he's wet. So wet. He's always dude. soaking, bro. He's that fucking clothesline, he literally had a fucking rain shower on the ring, man. Yeah, it was it's so sick. He's a water insane. elemental now. Bro, and, and the bro, replay was nasty. Bro has been making deals with water elementals. That's future <laughs> Looper Henry. Dude. Extreme powers. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Oh, dude. Yeah, Mark Henry's definitely a fucking storm cleric. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked up. We get uh, informed that the WWE CD Reckless Intent has hit the Billboard Top 200. At number 200, mean probably. that it is number 200. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh baby, don't just just go through this match, Joe. Just kill me, dude. I don't want to hear about it. Just go through it. We, I don't we even get the hear second. About. We get the second of two replays of uh, the dramatic destruction of Chris Benoit at the hands of Mark Henry. Uh, we see how Mark Henry has sent Chris Benoit to the preliminary edition of the Hall of Pain. Uh, we are informed that Chris Benoit is not here because he is on infinite sabbatical. That's what they say too. What the fuck? They they say indefinite sab- sabbatical, but yeah, maybe maybe Mark Henry knew something we didn't at the time. It just sucks because Virgil's getting buried after having a nice little run. Don't, I don't Paul even Virgil hear about is it. really smiling through the paint. He doesn't even like smile very much. He just looks at the camera, like ruffles his mustache, so and better. says, "I am, I am working today. I had he a grilled cheese so at catering." Mm-hmm. <laughs> he ropes down to the ring. He's like, "All right, I that's just... my favorite wrestler from St. Thomas of the Virgin Islands." I have to fight Mark Henry again. Awesome. Yeah, he gets into the ring and is immediately fucking skadooshed by Mark Henry. With a literal tsunami, uh, that just he drowns. Gets rained on. He, like... he, he gets capsized, so to say. <laughs> <laughs> the water elementals were very angry at Paul Birchall for his high crimes on the seas. I saw Paul Birchall shoot that albatross. I did too. Paul Birchall raided that uh, that British Parliament ship like two weeks ago. Just he helped the Somali pirates. The. F- they they couldn't that, just that, let him die either. They couldn't. Paul just... Birchall intercepted the ring that was going to soft ground wrestling. No oh, no. Oh no. And Mark Henry is making him feel it. Mm-hmm. He, he, this he, is Mark he Henry this... post time loop because he saw the future. Yeah. Well, yeah, he was in the infinite multiverse. He you saw can't all slander directions. my guy like this, guys. Come That's... on. Oh, he, he had is... to stop. He had to stop Paul Birchall from stealing soft ground wrestling's wrestling ring. <laughs> <laughs> The the replay of Mark Henry just drowning uh, Paul Bircher was sponsored by X-Men, the official video game. So we can go ahead and add that to the list. Yeah, it's added. it's also the official sponsor of One Night Stand. The X-Men official. That... Yes. Oh, my. Yeah. It, this match is just a quick one. But... Mark Henry gives Paul Bircher a world's strongest slam. And says, fuck you, white boy. And gives him another... World's strongest slam, one, two, three. Shebang, it's over. But Mark Henry's not done. Mm. He picks him up to go for a suplex, but gets him up on the ropes and then gives him a nasty kick to the chest. Paul Birchall gets picked up by Henry and sent into the ring post, much like Kurt Angle two weeks ago, or yeah, two weeks ago at Judgment Day and Chris Benoit last week. Mark Henry sends him into the thing four times. (laughs) And, uh, the next time we see Paul Burchill is uh, with a bloody mouth. So he yeah, did he something was, nasty he was, to him. He was bleeding profusely out the mouth. That blood capsule was like pouring some fierce, like always sunny Charlie what fucking you, scene. What do you mean? What he hit the jam. Blood? You know that was like, come on. What do you mean? He messed up. He had up. a lot of marmalade. He messed up bad. He was He was throwing he up. Just, he just. Dude, uh, no, no, because it's got to be the capsule. Because last week, he Kristen Watt swallow it. looks like he like. He 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 spit up like a hawk to a fucking like mucus ball. It's got to be the capsule. This, we just dated this podcast so heavily. God, <laughs> Joe. <Pride> Month. <laughs> we were saying can't be Pride Month for the past eight episodes. You're telling me after to 40 this. years you're gonna be dating this <laughs> podcast? <laughs> no way. No way. No, this podcast even is isn't even 18 years old. How can that, you be that, dating it? That one was for the that one was for the casuals. Hey Bunky, I'm about to make a sp- smack up special. Do you want one? Paul Burchill was coughing up a beef squeegee like no other. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Mark Henry just laughs. He's like, I hate everybody. <laughs> and laughs. He looks like he busts a gut laughing and then puts his arms up. Ain't the only thing he busts. I'm saying. Bong. <laughs> <laughs> this is the we last week. We, this is the last week we have it for sure. <laughs> uh, really? I I honestly thought that was like the one sound we needed, <laughs> and then it was ruined. Why son. are you, Tyler? <laughs> you just gave us a new toy. Do you expect us to not use it? You should have given us given us the new toy at least two hours before the pod. Then maybe we would have gotten it out of our system. Yeah, you're right. Now. <laughs> Look, like by next week we'll we'll forget about it just like we forget about every other <laughs> soundboy with soundbite we have. Chewy-wee. <laughs> I don't even use a soundbite. That one had its uh its time in the sun. <laughs> she uh, will be here to stay. You know who else is gonna be here to stay? Next week, Mr. Kennedy. Woo! That better life better man Kennedy and right. and guess what? Huh? Kennedy. Finley's here, guys. Yeah. I heard he likes to fight. He's is is he your favorite Irishman? No. No. Who would be better? Is their favorite Irishman? Luke Kelly. Luke Kelly? Mm-hmm. Who's that? Look him up. I don't wanna. Okay. Well, you know, Fit Finley's got the day off today. He's got a match. And guess what? He's fighting a guy named uh, Caden Matthews. I can't find any much information about him. This is his only uh, appearance, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't have a cage match? Uh, he might. I could look that up. Well, uh, well, Finley just straight kills this man. And they just keep playing to Whoa. the fact that... Huh? Well, what? Hello. Is Nico okay? Hello? Nico's yeah. here. Okay, I'm wrong. Here. I said, what'd you say? I said, he got killed? That's bad. Oh, it, it, it cut out. Because <laughs> oh. I was like, I was like, hello, Nico? <laughs> it's just nothing. I'm like, ah. But yeah, no, he just killed that man. It was uh, it was rough. Then they kept uh, playing around that. Oh, what is the is his little friend coming out? Is this guy coming out? Is this guy coming out? And then uh Kane Matthews got on the outside and somehow he's just kind of like halfway underneath the ma- like the the apron. And they grip him up. You just see him going ah and he disappears into the fucking middle. And you're like, "What the fuck happened?" If yeah, Finley tries to grab him and then he yeah. just gets suctioned in. Sucked in, in and you're like, like "The oh. boogeyman's back?" Oh. No, it wasn't. Finley no. reaches under and pulls him out, gets him back into the ring. They kept basically cutting out his name the too. Job. Little bastard kept getting cut out. Yeah, is that what that was? Yeah. Because something got cut out during uh, Piper's pit as well. I think Roddy Piper oh, called, no. he called him a Holly fucker. a big bastard. I think he called, he called him, him a fucker yeah, on live. Yeah, yeah, because he was definitely you could hear an R at the end, and I was like, "What did he say?" I think Nico can confirm it was fucker, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, that's that crazy, crazy to say. <laughs> that one's wild. Um, yeah, Finley man. beats this local jobber with an Irish it's uh, Celtic cross. The white noise. Cut the cross, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, little bastard hops in and starts beating the shit out of uh, Caden Matthews again. And they're just like, okay, this guy's crazy. I love it. He's like the most oh, over... We- <laughs> but we learned some some rules about the little bastard. Okay. That he only comes out when the light is green under the ring, and Finley goes to get him. Fair enough. So there's rules to it. Little bastard has to be there for Finley to pull out. So, if uh, if any psychic jujitsu users need to defeat Finley, here's a uh, one trick in your bag against them. Fair enough. Get, get another little person to help me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Caden Matthews. Okay. Last match was in 2013 against a guy named Eric fight? Wright. Ooh. But you want to know what his other name was? Eric Wrong. Wow. I quit. And he didn't have a longer career? No, apparently. But Caden Matthews, let's see. He was a TCW heavyweight champion at some point. Two, two lie up, 
Tulip. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Sabu is on a video what? package. Let's what? go. Let's fucking go, Sabu. Woo. Yeah, Woo. yeah Sabu. dude. You don't want to talk about Sabu All-American Joe? Come on, dude. It's All-American Joe. We're talking about the pay-per-view that's sponsored by X-Men, the official video game. Oh, dude. There's, there, there's only two Joes I want to hear from. Smack Up Joe and Erotic Joe. Yeah, I want Erotic Joe. about the rest. What does Erotic Joe have to say about Sabu? Oh, man. He's got that crazy riz, dude. There's yeah. nothing like a, a guy with shiny pants that wants to kill himself. There's just something <laughs> alluring bolting. about it. <laughs> like you won't give it up. <laughs> Hold never, on. never give it up. I That's got. Why erotic I... Joe's a wise man. Yeah. Cade Matthews does come back to WWE in 2009. His he... name, Justin Gabriel. He lost to Tyson Kidd. <laughs> wow. There you go, Joe. I had that's why I had to do it. Level up. ECW. <laughs> but we come back from the Taz, uh, Taz, the Sabu promo, yeah. and Taz takes his reflective Oakleys off. And he says, "Look, Jerry Lawler, you a sixty-nine talking... god. <laughs> you, you nasty sixty-nine god. You are not like us. You want to go on Raw and talk about." This nonsense. You want to make fun of ECW and you want to make fun of me? If Lawler is a real man, he will meet him at one night stand and they will kiss. Jerry the King Lawler, you do not want to go to cell block one. Okay. He says, I got one left in me. I will choke you out. Yeah, My name is I... Taz. Beat me if you can, old man. Survive if I let you. I love it. He just stares him down on Michael Cole. Kicks it over to the Miz. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, dude, let that one sit a little. Yeah. Oh, no, I, so anyway, here's the Miz. <laughs> Hold on. Going back a little bit, when Ashley was on commentary, all fucking Taz kept doing was like calling her Hun and like being all like, like sly dog. And Michael Cole's like, dude, why are you being like that? And she would laugh at Michael Cole's jokes. And Taz's like, what, what are you laughing at his jokes for? <laughs> I forgot to mention that, but it brings up with Taz. <laughs> Women love the goofy white boy. It's true. It's undeniable. What did Miz do, Pete? What did the Miz do? You were saying he was here. No, Joe was saying he was here. What? I don't remember. I didn't what the say Miz that. Did. I would never say something like that. Nobody said that. Who's lying? No, Nico said the Miz is here. So I basically, never would talk about the Miz. <laughs> Ah, oh. fuck! It's the Undertaker. Oh my God! He oh, said the Miz is here. and I won't be tonight. tonight. You know the Miz actually uh, had sex with Michelle McCool when Undertaker was dating. Her. And I won't be denied. denied. Uh, I didn't want to know that. I'm gonna. In fact, I'm gonna choose to believe that what you said to me is a, a false. Okay. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Anybody want to do the main event? <laughs> no. Why I'll not? To it. Well, I'll do a little bit of it. I'll, I'll do the part that up. goes up to it. No. Come on. You know. I I I'll, I'll give you the summary right now. This was a pretty good match with a great heel ending. Yeah, the Miz is up in the part where Rey Mysterio jumps out of on the the thing. And he says, this is our main event. It's the U.S. champion Bobby Lashley versus King Booker. And then Steven Regal. No, it's William. Come on, dude. <laughs> Steven Regal. <laughs> See, yeah, Nico, Steve... you're not the only one getting yelled at, dude. See, Nico, I told big, you that. Big Steve comes out in his suit. See, it's still a huge suit that doesn't fit him. He looks good in it because it's a three-piece, so it kind of fills it out a little bit. And it just doesn't say anything, but all hail King... Oh, minutes and 40 seconds. All hail King Booker! Yes, you, old lady in the crowd. All hail King Booker! Yes, stand up! And the crowd of white people in Oregon are booing. He could not keep up with that. He was, like, running out of breath. Like, all hail King B Booker! <laughs> Oh, hail King Booker. We got Booker's new <laughs> regal, no ditty, music. Uh, Booker's got the crown, the scepter, and the uh, coat on. Walks down to the ring very slowly. Still looks like he's trying to not be cheesing. He's definitely got a smile behind his face. 
just so funny to see. It's, as Booker and Charmel go down to the ring, William Regal stays up at the apron and just keeps chaining all hail King Booker for all of this to be going down. Charmel holds up the thing, his uh, cowl, as he goes up the steps. And in the ring, the chair is like set up. The king's chair. Throne. <clears throat> that's what that's called. That's the word for it. The king's chair. Yeah. <laughs> the, the king's folding chair. That's on Raw, dude. No, it, it's a it's a big full like, chair. It's like the chair. I know, but in a commentary desk, that's, that's, that's on Raw, dude. You were just wrong show. Never fact check me. <laughs> Charmel, <laughs> Queen Charmel gets on the mic. Says, all hail King Booker. Yes. <laughs> Booker wraps the thing around him comically, sits down. And he's got the sparkles. His chair of sparkles, guys. It's crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> this is <laughs> the. He looks like uh, he looks like the Shannon Sharp meme. He's just got his hands out. He's like, "What's up?" As the sparkles are going, Charmel's really into it. I love it. I love this bit. Somebody has a really offensive sign during this as say? well. What's the offensive sign? Ah. Yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, editor Ty, editor Ty, I need you to, I need you to help me out here. Yeah, send it, send it right now to me so I can look at it, just so I know what it is, just so you don't have to All say right. it. All right, one sec. Editor Ty, I'm taking a picture with my phone it. right now. This is a live phone picture. Oh, that's how Joe knows what's going on. He's watching it as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it the first time. You're also getting a look behind the curtain that sometimes I have the episode, most of the times I have the episode playing to help me out creatively. What? Because and I won't be This denied. is mitigating how many times I say um if I know what's actually happening. I can just stop talking and then say, oh, that is happening right now. But I didn't catch this the first time. I'm sending this to Ty right now, privately. He's going to see it. He's going to say, oh my. Oh. Pete, a, look what he! What, look what they're hiding from us. It's a play on Charmel's name. I've just been yes. thinking, like, why isn't this in the in the smack up chat? I'll, I'll, I'll send it to the smack up chat as well now, which would probably would have been a better idea in hindsight. But I swear, I, I, sometimes I feel like this is just the Joe and Tyler cast. This is this is me, me and Nico have been left by the wayside, and nobody cares, dude. Okay, okay, oh, hold on, hold on. you know what? Each other. Hold on, Jesus Pete. Christ, that's a fucked up sign. I know. Dude, that's <laughs> That's why I didn't want to say it. <laughs> oh then, my god! I know. On Pride Month too. I know. It's Pride Month then too. Also, this like, episode is June second. Yeah, Sean Mel's like one of the like one of the most attractive women in the whole goddamn company. What the fuck? It's is a this very really you know. It's a very common thing for people to like try to. Uh... Say that about African the... American women, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just try to take a shot at black women and say that. Of course, this piece of shit would wear a Pokemon Ash Ketchum hat. A Pokemon? No, it's not that guy. It's the guy behind him. Oh, it's, no, it's in front him. of him. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Pokemon guy has the digital oh, camera. Think, he's uh, he, he's catching yeah. in two forty. He's respecting. He's I, respecting I thought he was. King yeah, I, yeah, I thought he was holding the camera and holding the sign just from the way it looks. But no, it, it's the, it's the sense. geek and it's the geek in front of him with the gray oh, hat, and he's like, I'm I'm like. Uh, yeah, yeah, with the gray hat and black shirt. He's kind of, like, showing it off, too, because he sees himself on the hard cam up on the yeah. Titantron, and he's, like, he's having a laugh about it. Yeah, this guy is just such a dork. Fuck that guy. Yeah, that guy. That guy wants to sleep with his sister. You could tell. He's just got that rage. Here, live in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Disgusting people. I forgot. I don't really think we mentioned culture. where we were earlier on Smack or on Raw Down, either. Fuck. Portland, Oregon, you do not want to go to Cell Block 1. Yeah. You get fucked over there. But fuck you, oh, no. King, King Booker holds his composure and is handed the mic from his beautiful Queen Charmel and says, All hail King Booker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> and I proudly present to you your new queen, Queen Charmel, and I am bowing. I am bowing so heavily right now. Yeah. She stands up, takes a wave. I love it. And some guy, a real respecter, has a long live King Booker sign real. behind Charmel. Thank goodness. We get a cut, that asshole still holding up his dumb sign. Nobody's taking him out back and put him down like a nasty dog he is. What? 
and we go to commercial. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The guy with the sign. The sign with the, oh, the guy okay. with the sign. You should We're taking him out. out. We're yeah, taking him out. It. Yeah, fuck yeah. that, loser. That's, yeah, that's, I thought I made that very clear. I didn't realize. I hope you guys didn't think about. I was saying something else. I thought you were saying we were going to put down King Booker for a moment. Oh, yeah, hell I, I, did. No. That's what, I didn't know. <laughs> no, 1,000 years of King Booker greatness. And Queen Charmel. On, on this day, unfortunately, in 1953, Queen Elizabeth II was crowned. Wrong monarch. It's King Booker forever. <laughs> Don't ever fact check me. King Booker 5 ever. Dude, Welcome to 2009. You know, what, you know what Smack Up really needs? I need to really bleed into this. We need a main event guy. We have main event Marty on Raw. We need a main event guy here. Who's it gonna be? We don't have to talk about these matches. I yeah. think I think Joe should be main event Joe. Erotic That's Joe. crazy. We don't need to address that right now. Just go off. Yeah, we're all extreme. We're not, we're not main eventers. We're the third <laughs> show. <laughs> We're the third secret show. Yeah, don't think I didn't see uh, everyone got extreme in their fucking names. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? What do you mean? I, You're just giving out that title. Fact, I e extreme is an affliction. I just was... like the achievement you get in Red Dead Redemption 1 for killing a guy that has the achievement. Yeah, yeah sure. Have we yeah. talked about this match at all? Have we started no, this? No, no. All right. No. Motherfuckers. All right, we got Queen Charmel. It's over. Whatever. Then uh, Lashley comes <laughs> out. Yay, Lashley is here. They get in each other's face, and they're, they're talking trash, and Lashley's just gesturing like, bring it on then, let's fucking go. And then Lashley basically just fucking throws him into the corner, and then Booker's just you know, punching him, and whatever. Uh, I, I don't know what else happens after that. Joe, <laughs> you start talking now. Yeah, Joe. All right, fuck you, Joe. I took a ginormous <laughs> swig of water. I almost choked on my Fuck you, Joe. Joe. I thought you were gonna keep going, water. dog. Hey, <laughs> enter tie. Enter tie. Booker. Can you add a uh, the gif of uh, Chris and Wall saying, "On my way to use the Bowflex." That's Joe. Yeah. When he got thrown <laughs> he just, to. He just <laughs> rode the Bowflex. It's cool. <laughs> anyway. Um. Anyway. Booker. Booker fucking pushes him down or whatever. He knocks him to the ground and then grabs him for a suplex. There's some chops. He, he's laying some chops into into uh, Lashley. Um, I don't I don't know what happens after that. My notes are very all over the place. Can I mean they have they have a fine back and forth. I still don't think these guys have the best chemistry. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of a lot of lockups that end up in the corner, uh, where Booker is trying to get Lashley counted off of him. Uh, Lashley gets him up on the ropes and then picks him up for a scoop slam. One, two, kicks out of the pin, Booker does. And then Lashley gets him in like a gator hold. And he mm -hmm. gives him a gator roll, which is kind of cool, I guess. But Booker powers up out of it. We're again reminded that these guys are uh, basically the same build. They're both ginormous and tall. Uh, Lashley just, you know, obviously got more muscle mass but and more defined. But they are both ginormous people. Um, Lashley and Booker get into a strike, uh, trading strikes. But uh, Booker then picks up Lashley up off the ropes and then drops him on the top rope. Lashley's reeling. A uh, little bit of time passes. Dude, this match is not great. They don't have the best chemistry. And they make him go for, like, how long is this match? Like, 12 minutes? Is you're it? Gonna be, you're gonna be like angry. You're gonna be angry. I think it's like five. It's five minutes and thirty-two it's seconds. Five yeah. minutes. Five minutes what? thirty-two seconds is the main event. Yeah. I thought it was ten. No, <laughs> just how long the entrance went. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah we. Yeah, we echoed. Oh, <laughs> no, you're good. We did it. Same time. Go on. Uh, it's one of those matches where it's like I watched it, right? Like I sat there, I watched it, but. Yeah, it's. I don't remember what happened. Which yeah, that's why I'm sitting me. here struggling to be like, it's a five minute match, and all I know is that Lashley won with the power slam. Yeah, that's all I know too. It's like, um, there was one spot where Booker had him, like, on the ground, and he was lifting him up. That's all I remember. It's like, like I'm not gonna say it was bad, because I do kind of remember some parts being like decent. It's just. This was a 
no heats until the oh. like until after the match and like there's really like i wasn't invested in this match i, I just kind of glazed over it so lack of chemistry nothing on the line nothing happened in match for the main event you, you're going to glaze over it yeah i mean it was just nothing i don't know i don't really like it, it was. It was the the real finish of the show was what happens after yeah. the bell rings. Do you want me to run through it? Well, Bobby Lashley hits uh, Booker T, King Booker, with the Dominator, or I guess would be the the body slam. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then one, two, three wins, and but then William Regal immediately just starts beating on Bobby. Bobby can't just it was blindsided. He can't really fight back, and by the time he kind of does, here comes Finley too. Beating on him with a shillelagh too. It's it was up. very fucked up. Yeah. And chokes him out. Booker T says, "Get him up." Booker T gives him a give him a scissor kick, and then uh, William Regal and uh, Finley <laughs> pull the like throne up into the thing. King Booker sits down, crosses his leg, and says, "Make him kiss my feet." And then they both like choke Bobby and, and <laughs> they tap and his bald head to the foot. They don't have him he was knocked <laughs> yeah. out. It was just like dunk. Yeah. <laughs> they made the United States champion kick the kiss the monarch's foot as two two uh, Englishmen held him down. Fucked up. He he was like out though, because like Finley was like holding his mouth to like perk up, like perk up his lips. Uh, so he didn't do this willingly, which yeah, I really which would build up the heat, you know, because he was out. He had to be dragged by Regal and Finley. Yep, and what so, this means is we're going to have more of these matches. Oh, baby. So, like, is Finley a part of this group now? I guess. I guess so. They've been kind of hanging out. Booker and Finley They've just been tagging along. Finley into whatever. Because, like, I get really Regal. Oh, he's the British guy. He would bow down to the king. But, like, Finley's Irish. Yeah. yeah but he yeah. also he also works for the WWE in Vince McMahon, so yeah. Which Vince is, McMahon is also terrible, Irish. Terrible disease to have. Vince yep. McMahon being the best example. I don't think there's anything worse than being an Irish. Oh come on, man. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Being Irish and German mixed. That's pretty bad. Alright, come on, man. <laughs> Yikes. Booker T emotes on Bobby Lashley's corpse. As Charmel continues to chant, all hail King Booker. Thanks, son. We'll take our cubbies. <laughs> Look, uh, other than that tough, tough main event mm -hmm. that we're going to have to watch a 50 more of, mm -hmm. pretty good episode. Pretty entertaining episode. Maybe not good, but yeah, entertaining. It was, uh, you know, you had a really good first match, and everything else was just fun to watch. Yeah, now, I only got one question. Huh? Would, would you guys swap the opening and the uh oh event? yeah definitely yeah that that's what i was thinking that, that was my only comment on that fucking yeah match. Like, i would have just swapped the matches the opening of the show was <clears throat> so much better than the main event the show really lost steam as it went mm -hmm. but still probably one of the better smackdowns in yeah. recent memory yeah. you know i think we all had a good time to smackdown the chinese government definitely approved this episode yep. and undertaker had a really good time this episode absolutely so we want to thank Ojo. you fans. if you give us 50 dollars to our paypal we'll give you a <laughs> jaw of the cum of undertakers from this episode oh my goodness dude <laughs> we have that yeah oh uh, no Nico has that <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we just got a new jaw coming in. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Hey, you know as it comes, his eyes rolls in the back of his head. Ah, uh, yeah. Just like that spot with the neck cutting. Oh, yeah. Guys, oh, yeah. by the time we come back, Tom. two weeks from now, we're going to be very extreme. I'm very excited for that. Everything will change. Everything will change. No, I'm, uh, I don't want to be extreme. You're forced, pal. I'm sorry. Anybody else got anything to say about this damn episode? Jerry Lawler, we will see you at Cell Block 1.
I will buy a bull flex. <laughs> You've been smacked up. <laughs> wee wee wee.